In this video, I will show you on how easy it is to talk scripted on a dedicated Raspberry Pi in one simple step. Hello and welcome to my channel which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Well, if you didn't know, scripted is a high performance home video integration and automation platform and i've done videos installing this awesome software alongside a raspberry pi using homebridge a synology nas and also a mac computer and thanks to scripted you can bridge most cameras into the three top smart home players that is homekit google home and alexa however with scripted camera snapshots and streams are fast low latency have rock solid reliability and most importantly it brings homekit secure video to cameras that do not support the feature natively now do let me know in the comment section on how your experience has been with scripted so for this video we will be using a raspberry pi dedicated to running scripted so you will need one a raspberry pi in my case i will be using a raspberry pi 3p plus a class 10 micro SD card. I'll be using a 32 GB micro SD card and three. You will also need a micro SD card adapter to flash the SD card. So without any further delay, let's set up this server. Now, before we go ahead and load this service, first we need to go and flash the SD card. So I have a micro SD card adapter and a micro SD. So all I'm gonna do is now insert it in and I'm going to insert it into my computer. Now, once this is done, all I'm gonna do is open a Raspberry Pi imager. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to load the default Raspberry Pi image. Let's select OS, Raspberry Pi OS other, and we're gonna select the light version 64 bit. We're gonna go ahead and select the storage. If it does not appear, let's remove the SD card adapter and try again. Ignore, select the SD card and before we go ahead and write the image, let's click on the gear icon. We're not gonna be using Wi-Fi. I always recommend using these services connected via a LAN cable to your router. So I'm gonna click on no. I'm gonna set the host name to script it. I'm gonna enable SSH. We're gonna be using this service to use that one step install. And I'm gonna set a username and password. This can be anything you'd like. So I'm just gonna leave it as admin. And I'm gonna put in my desired password. Scroll all the way down set the settings up your location and time and keyboard and you're going to click on save next you're going to click on write click on yes to clean the sd card and install the software put in your password now once the sd card is written all you have to do now is remove the sd card adapter from the computer you want to eject it from the sd card adapter and then next what you want to do is go and insert it into the raspberry pi then from the insert the raspberry pi into the case you have along with it and then from there, you want to connect the Raspberry Pi using a network cable to your router or a switch. And then from there, you want to go ahead and power the device. Now, once you power the device and once you see network activity on the Ethernet port, now we will go and see what is the assigned IP address that the router has given. So in my case, in my UDM Pro, if I go to my devices and you see that the IP address has been assigned as 192.168.8682. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and access the same Raspberry Pi setup using SSH. To do that, all we have to do is go and open up terminal. Now from here, there are two ways to access the Raspberry Pi. You can go first and use the IP address that has been assigned by the router, or you can go ahead and use scripted.local. So in this case, it's SSH admin, which is the username we created at the rate of scripted.local or at the rate of the IP address assigned by your router. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Go to type yes. And you're going to add in the password that you put in in the raspberry pi imager so we're already into the linux system now let's go ahead and copy that one line of code and paste it to have scripted install so i'm just going to click on the copy icon go back to terminal and hit paste now once you hit enter if you go as per the documentation it will go ahead and install all the dependencies required to run the service it will install the latest 
node version which is 18 at the moment and also update python or even install python if it's not there so let's go back to terminal and all in all this install process takes between 10 to 15 minutes depending on your internet connection now thanks to the power of editing you don't need to wait 10 to 15 minutes i will see you towards the end of this install and just like that scripted is now installed now before we go and access the dashboard what i want to go ahead and do is update npm that the system has asked me to do it's not compulsory but it's good to do it as well so i'm just going to type sudo and paste the command so npm is updated let's go and check the version and we'll also go and see if node is installed and updated so we have the latest node version now you want to copy and save these commands somewhere safe so that when you want to start and stop the service or disable anything these will really come in handy all you have to do it is using terminal or any other software that can access the raspberry pi using ssh and also at the same time i've left the link in the description on where to copy paste this command and as a word of caution i'm using a raspberry pi 3 is to only run scripted so i won't be running any other services on that raspberry pi so with that being said let's go ahead and access the server you want to start first by typing https you want to type in scripted.local which i have there. or you can even type in the ip address of the raspberry pi so i can type in 192.168.2 you want to tap on show details, visit the website, visit, and just like that, in one easy step, you've already installed scripted on this Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to create a username and password, click on management console, and there, scripted is up and running. Now from here, let's go ahead and install one camera, and then from there, we'll take it over to Apple Home App. So I will go to install, just have to add in two plugins. So in my case, is HomeKit first. And then from here, we're going to add in RTSP where we'll go and add in that wise camera. So I'll go to plugins, install, type RTSP, click on install. While this is getting installed, there's also another link I've left in the description on whether developer has provided a camera bias guide. So if you're really looking to in get in RTSP cameras and which one works best with scripted, do check out this link because it will give you a lot of useful information. Now from here, what we're going to do is going to click on add new. You're gonna call this like and subscribe. So don't forget to do that. Click on create. And now we're just gonna go and add in the username and password and the RTSP link. And all we're gonna do is click on save RTSP stream URL and you're gonna click on save. And what we're gonna do is go to extensions. You want to enable HomeKit. So automatically it enables the HomeKit secure video in the background. And depending on what camera you have, you have to go and enable PAM diff motion detection. So the wise cam doesn't have a de detection. It only works with the software. So I have to enable this option. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is go to devices, click on like and subscribe. This camera is now right now installed in my kids room. You'll see a broadcast coming up shortly. There it is a very messy kids room. So we're gonna to go to HomeKit. We're gonna to go to pairing. And now what we're gonna do is go and just add this in the Apple Home app. So let's go ahead and open up the Apple Home app. Then from there, you want to tap on the plus sign, tap on add accessory, and then you want to scan the QR code, tap on add to Apple Home, add anyway. You want to add it to the room, tap on continue, tap on continue. Now here's the option to enable HomeKit secured video stream and allow recording when away stream and allow recording now you want to make sure if you have you need to have an apple tv or home pod mini or an ipad that acts as an apple home hub tap on continue allow the recordings to whoever's added to your home tap on continue if you want to add in any automations tap on continue tap on done now you have the camera and if you go to the settings you can add in recording options and also add in any facial recognition it's that simple and just like that you have the camera already installed in the apple home app and in one simple easy step you now have a dedicated raspberry pi running scripted i'll see you in the next video cheers and happy automation